Have you ever heard of perfection game? That's a gamified technique for improving the quality of ideas in a positive and an always constructive way. So if you want to help your teams to gel a little bit faster, to become better at collaboration and definitely get really comfortable and used to constructive feedback. And why not? While having some fun in the process of getting some serious improvement, keep watching. The Perfection Game is a tool for feedback and it was made known in the book Softer for Your Head by Jim and Michelle McCarthy. And this is a tool for positive and possibility thinking um, to advance vision, ideas, and solutions. To play this game, you only need basically two things. One that we call an object, a thing, something to be improved upon. So it's an idea, a process, a problem. And then two, a scale, you know, one to 10, five stars, fist to five. Now, how do you play this game? There's basically six steps and I will illustrate them so that you really see them in action. And it all starts with asking for permission. Hi, would you play the perfection game with me? Yes. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate this idea? I would give it a two. What I like about it is what would have made it perfect? What would have made it perfect for me is, thank you. And then you repeat the process with the other team members. You really wanna gather all those ideas. Now, other than following these steps, there are a few rules in this game that you also want to remember. The first is that this is a positive disruption. Nobody's interested about what you didn't like about the idea. The point is to make it better. So really, if you have an idea to make it better, bring it so. Otherwise, you are automatically giving it the highest score in the scale. And that is really simple. It's just because you want to advance from a positive perspective. It's just, you know, a better way to help people collaborate, building on top of what each other said. The second important thing, and I kind of gave it away a little bit, is that you, you know, if you have a scale of one to 10, one doesn't mean I don't like, and 10 means I so like it. No, no, one means, hey, I think this idea has very little value. And 10 means, wow, I think this idea has so much value. So the contribution is not about your personal taste, or something that you think you would have done better yourself. The possibility here is, okay, being as it is already, how do we make it more valuable? So you really get to see that this is really about positive feedback. This goes a lot deeper than just, you know, your shallow opinion or my shallow opinion. We are really assessing value. We are really collaborating here to build something. Um, it's, it's more about finding a solution than finding fault, which is usually a hard state of mind for most of us to tune in. So it really is about ultimately of letting personal taste and judgment aside and truly, really giving constructive feedback forward. Now, where would you use, where would you apply the perfection game technique? One place I really used the most was when trying to build better user stories with my team. And it's very simple because user stories are somewhat hard for people to wrap their heads around. It's all about bringing value. So the whole game feels very um, appropriate. And all these things are really a skill. So instead of just looking at the story and scratching your head or saying the things that you don't like, how about looking at it and trying and improving that collectively? Not only you get the benefit of better stories being written, but you also have the whole team working on building it. So it does a ton of good for the collaboration piece, for the learning together piece, and ultimately just for the team to just improving together collectively. I do give you some more ideas on how to apply this part of, you know, use the stories with perfection game in the blog post down below. I also give you more ideas on where else to use it, such as, you know, for team uh, development and for problem solving. So go check the link down below, go check out the blog. And you know what? If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this one, make sure to click subscribe so that you don't miss a thing. I will stop this video right here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.